Well, looking up the crying incident. Yeah, I didn't think I would do any of it wrong till tomorrow, you know, for the MP Clacker thing. Or, but I also find I have to do a non LP vlog until I talk about Mama Murphy's Law. And, well, that was correct, but not the way I'll get connecting. So, the official premiere of Mile Murphy Guy got to work for then they are premiering it on the app, like we tend to do, um, a little bit before. I believe they've done that for a few shows. We did for Peanut, I know. So, yeah. Um. <sighs> okay, um, I get kind of curvy on the thing, but, um, you know, but, I'm not sure why, but they tried to do a preview for it by putting it for free on iTunes and, um, and I am a gone and for relatively cheap pay on, um, YouTube, you know, but, um, yeah, but we're not advertising it like they go to that work, they do preview, come the official preview in next, uh, Tuesday, I believe, on the app, go so if you want to wait, but not a ton, then you can just wait till then, but if you have, you know, an iTunes account, you have it for free there. I typically don't look at preview. I like to wait until it comes out, but because of the show with him and who it's from, I figured it'd be fun to to do it, you know. You know, and you know, and I promised to vlog. Go so, first pressure on it. Go so here I am, and it's basically like they can't much preview. Cause some people might not want to. Some people might want to get an idea of what it's like, you know, before they even have to watch it. You know, some people might want to wait, but want to know an idea of what it's like. Go, I gotta watch and do a vlog for it. It's late, it's on 40 right now. <laughs> and, um, my internet went down for the millionth time, probably today, really. Go, I figured a good time to do a recording. You know, go, here we go. I didn't think I'd, I thought, thought I would have to wait until next week, but here we are. Go, so, I guess we gotta watch card preview like that, cause I just, I just like waiting, you know. But, uh, you know, but I don't watch it with hair, you know. Oh, sit again. Go. Milo Murphy Law. A lot of you know it's been created by Dan Pop if a late Disney show created by Dan Palmer, Jeff Fucking Marsh for creating a company for band. A guy I think for they worked on, you know, the not only together but they have, you know, together worked on shows like Cat Arnold, Cat Dog, Rock of Modern Life, um SpongeBob. Rock of the biggest non PNF thing we're probably known for because we did a lot on that show and we're for well the big one again, Kapar and you can and um there's a lot of you know, things <laughs> very even in that because I mentioned a fur because we had a friend named Ferb and William and Frank. Yeah, the real fur name you can even fur <laughs> little liar. Little weirdo <laughs> but you know. Yeah. You know, and it done probably I thought I only did only a few things did a lot. They done work for Family Guy and like and, and, and all the cranky work, you know. Um, you know, um, um, and of course, got a for A lot of people wondering what we're gonna do next. Get a for book, gigantic good for Disney and just in general. Go, you know, and go right after work. Hey, what we'll give them another show? And come time, come time, and if I'm guessing when to create a best no phone show, book on and dug another show, create a one, you know, like. Go back to Rocco from Rocco Yoke to Camp Blacklow and then Yoko have and it comes back with more well known yeah, together Butch Hartman with Dan Phantom and later talk about being the those show we had coming. Um, you know. And I remember when American Dad came out of a big like a family guy for you know, going back to family guy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Again, cartoon community treat we call it cartoon like tree straight all the way back probably Rocco and probably earlier, depending on what the creator of that used to work on. You know, anyway, and you know, you know, and a lot, and I'm definitely interested in whatever we're looking for. Yeah, again, I call, I hope, and it's on the show now, for King Day, think for about to end, probably to give you extra hyped up, you know. And even in the ad got King Day mentioned from the creative thing of her, and a lot of cartoons don't tend to do it, they don't tend to mention the creative team, they tend to really mention the actor or something. But typically, if they typically move you can cartoon art from the creator of our show, like you have come that right of our show, like a junior. And if I don't create our show or older show, a kid won't know. I mean, I bet you can't blog go the measurement from Creator Rocco, kid be like, what the hell are you talking about? Rocco what? You know 
the strategy kind of rock in one way, but I'll get to that. Um, but yeah, let's get to the actual show. Um, yeah, who care about the background? We just want to know what your new show like from the first uh, half hour, which is two eleven minutes. Um, the first interesting. I'll get we can a few interesting things. One is that for two eleven minutes. Um, uh, the first one is called uh, uh oh, shit, I can't remember. Going the extra Milo, I believe, which I think I memorized the writer at that point. Written by Dan Popmeyer and Kyle Minky, story by Dan Poppy, and the second one was The Undergrounders, well, written by Danny Venter, Venter, Venturi, Ven, Ven, Ven something. Uh, all things for really people, of course. I think the majority of people were Zorro and Phineas, we didn't get any other to people, to my knowledge, you know, Yoko had a, people like Rob Hugh, and of course, they go to the music. And speaking of music, let's talk about the theme song. And the most thing, the famous thing about the show, in terms of people talking, is that the main character, Mal Murphy, is a fan voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. He's done tongue of Wicked for a cartoon before, I've talked about one on the VVL before, with Pinky Pride, but this is the first time starring in. He might have had a reoccurring role in the show, but like, they have a minor role, like, occasionally. Um, I'm blanking on it, but I play Mandy if it would have happened. He appeared, whenever they did out of play draft code, he would appear. Um, but that was a minor role. But this can, what can be the main character on the show? And what can be the theme song? And the theme song is really catchy. I probably like him when the theme for a theme it turns out catchy. Like, not a better song, but this, it will get stuck in your head. It's not, it's, I think it, the visual do a really good job of showing what kind of show it is. And the theme song show, you know, my own kind of attitude. And it's really catchy. <laughs> that theme song goes very well. It's probably already seen it. But it's very... The only thing about the theme song about weird is the line, for a mile, it's my world and we're all living in it. That sounds very creepy. Like, I, I don't know what that you put to mean. The theme song got to call it my world. It's getting creepier, written by Dan himself. Um, just Dan. Uh, Nah. Um, anyway, if that Pelucky could be out with him, because if Dan Crabby didn't create book one, it's a career show, it would got Pelucky for that, and that's kind of cool. After how he didn't, the main character would be 12, 13, like, come around that, but that probably in that age group. Um, roughly around, definitely older than you, definitely with closer than you um, I don't know, but that around that age, maybe a little older. Um, you know, um, and... So his voice don't quite match with the body that's drawn for him, but with the way it's kind of written, he definitely helped bring him to life because he is an optimistic kind of character and he can just, you know, he's genuinely kind of a good comedic actor. You, you, you know, a lot of stuff you've seen him in, he can, even if you have a good time, he can change it up a little bit. He can be, he can be a little on the mannequin guy when he's doing a villain voice. He can be, he can very, very wood skilly villain voice. You know, he definitely. Go when you give them any more different shirt type if we're going to go by Phineas. Um, you know, um, yeah, go. I think he worked in terms of how to get her written. Um, but, go. You know, anyway, two of them that have got a, like a cold opening for the other that have got before we go and get a scene and I think on when the app code actually dark me up town and everything. But 11 minutes. I don't know any 11 minute show that, you know, do cold opening, come to think of it. Like, problem comes, Ned. I don't know why I remember that, but it did. But then because we're going to have separate, not together, like on Disney's show, and welcome oh, Cartoon Network, get that. Cartoon Network and Global Quinn with their limit up, go never, ever being paired together, ever, when they originally are. Like, a completely two-parter, um, like, Phoebe and Return to Jailbreak, for example. They have not done normal cartoon type thing, and I don't know, I can't remember, it must have been so long ago. You know, Disney and Howard Duck get regularly, Disney, the first work we didn't sometimes, but they did, they, I don't know, the first work weird, but, um, every other show for Disney and Nick, you know, even going to now with, um, you know, um, well, now sometimes get two, two a minute together, but recently it's been one a minute, but the turn of how we officially label and linked it to, um, you know, but, but anyway, um, you know, um, it's, uh, go, I don't know if that could be a regular thing with call opening or not, but it'll be interesting if they keep that, um, and I do like if I do have the outcome, like if any, if they have outcome title, we'll title card, but you got the title, you know, blank, 
sprint by whatever. Um, it can under retail too, I believe. Um, no, we can tell Van and get right after I finish. Yeah, you know, I like Van. Again, again, if you don't have Tower Card, have your title somewhere. You know, Dar they're gonna do that and bug the crap out of me. Like, it's it will work right there. You know, it bumped me up when I was gonna do it, but again, I'm new to that. But cartoon, put it somewhere. You know, it's like, you know, we've, you know, I feel like Pink for a good point for having it there, but not being up truthful about it. We had time again, I haven't talked about the actual upcode yet. I just wanted to, I'll probably put discussion of the content dark at 20 minutes. <laughs> I'll, people will come to it all the time, I'm gonna beat them to it. Um, but anyway, let's just talk about the show in The premise of the show that we get to around Milo Murphy, who in Becky Dizzy Gendon to the creator of Murphy's Law, which basically means whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. And he basically a, a drink, a bag of luck magnet. If every go thing constantly go wrong, you know, could be coming simple to where he's waiting for the bus stop and broken that tube corruption tube thing, I don't know what called, come by. And sometimes he might be on a subway and he bumped into underground dwellers or something like that. You know, that kind of thing. And, you know, and, you know, that's definitely causing for a cartoon to be, you know, main character and seem like they can never catch a break. You know, Rocco is making like that. He's always, no matter what he would do, crazy thing would happen. Or he would just, you know, you know, Rocco modern life, you know, which is going through Reagan stuff and the whole, and the big thing in that show about they are very over the top cartoony and something could be bizarre, like he's trapped in the TV or something like that. I don't like that one. Or having a musical Earth Day episode. You know, you know, in fact, you know, when also have a show like, um, so we probably show where that kind of a big, back least a thing in the show. But however, Gun Show got done this badly, where basically, when I've, one guy I think of, I just part of the monkey, when main character, um, is basically about monkey, and he gets to be tortured, and like, a lot of times he's a cast of loot, yeah, because, and I understand the Rocco thing, but usually by the end he wins, and he wins, or it's just funny, it's just not cool. You know, in the Twitch, this show hack is that he goes through that, but incredibly optimistic. He, he actually thinks that like a good thing. Uh, there's a scene here where he, you know, he's talking to, to Gak, um, and he's saying that he feels he feel a bit kind of Gak because he go he ordered that you took a, we're going to take a bus to school. A bus, you know, which you prefer to be like, let's get guiding, and he, he got optimistic about it, you know, and it kind of like, what well, the Phoenix, Phoenix was always optimistic about a lot of things, it took a lot to get him to just be worried, God belong to you, you can camp for the whole thing, he tried to hold on, it took, take like, you know, the last minute for him to just give up, you know, and, and I can't wait for a show to do that, like that. you're never gonna do that, you know, and that's the prank of the show, and, I think I'm a great friend for a show. One, it got a good mechanism right off the bat. Be optimistic no matter what. He got great time going on, but he got like, prepared for one. And he usually get through it. You know, through the time forgot to move him up time because he's prepared. You know, and, and the kill up of the first episode is that guy gave a new kid at school and he being introduced to the stuff while his friend Melissa like used to it. Um and um and the, that pawn for that good is basically is a pilot. It basically it is Milo got trying to find get to school for all the crazy stuff that preventing them, you know. You know, it could be something clingy but quite mundane like that. Or they could bump into aliens. I should probably mention I hope I don't want to pull anything, but it's not like a crazy plot twist. You know, but um but you know. But um well, unfortunately it probably like spoiled too much for all of you who care. You know, but um hopefully I didn't, you know, as for a joke, one or two I might mention because they're particularly interesting to me. Um, anyway, and, um, you know, and it, um, with, and again, that basically be the, the whole, let's <laughs> get to the character. Um, my, I mentioned my wedding like, and that can be friend who, and you not new to the kind of thing, and, you know, and getting you to have a crazy good time, but look at the friend who is you to at the point, you know, and kind of, you know, he's a snarky female character, and he'd be kind of, not weird, but sort of neurotic male friend, you know, of the Gak, he is voiced by the fish from Curry Bucket, and, uh, yeah, he gives him, I think, voice more like he does fine, and that's how he does well, when, when the writing is decent enough, he can, 
had to be a breakup, but a lot of components with the writing, chicken, comporting him, he just kind of awkward. But here he at work here becoming a character. And he in thick fat art shite, but it kind of works, you know, bringing sort of like he and the sort of get rocked because he's getting used to treating stuff happening all the time. And we look at Wayne Pike to be a carpenter who, you know, won't quite even grow in the world. And man, this girl, she, she's gonna go play some gun, you know, she's really good here because she is the starky female, like, friend here, like, she kind of go on that show too. And she, you know, and here she just, I don't know, it's coming out performance, it really works here, and I, here, but she read, like, to, like, you know, be really charming and stuff like here and go, I hope she, she, she go somewhere, because she, she's good, like, here, she, what she can do for casting, right? Um, as far as other characters, regarding my character, but I'm gonna call him Squidward of the show, not to go torture, he, nothing bad happens to him, well, something does, but he's okay with it. He basically the one who coughed at Milo, didn't understand how Milo could be so optimistic, and he, you know, he played by Rick Martella, Phineas, and you wouldn't know that, until, like I told you, because he's got nothing like him, but, I, you know, but at the same time, Phineas can avoid he put on, not natural, like, hey, long can to a French accent, I'm totally okay with that, um, <laughs> you know, um, you know, and he, and, um, and the shit he had can both up because of that, you know, he, in snarking about it's for that good he's trying to you know the chick in the for that good they're trying to get to school and look up and hit and the other guy school about trying to back on whether um Milo will make it or not and he's the one he's betting against and um um you know he has a friend who you kind of maybe a beaver who's being sort of like oaf guy who got actually kind of a lot smarter than you might think of her as one part we can do you get with Rome Court. I made a TV joke on Twitter, so I won't make it here, but, yep, um, go, and we're going to character in that, we need to have a we don't keep much of her, like a teacher, who a teacher, um, uh, my, my own parents are trying to do again, they aren't either of you get a good so, uh, he mentioned her dad once, so, I mentioned a few what we do with the parent. oh, and he had a good dog name, it's spelled D-I-O-G-E-E, -E. D-O-G, <laughs> You didn't get it. You felt like doggy, but D O G. Gift dog is Bart by J. Bradley Baker. Before he is. He had the weird thing where he, no matter what Milo is, he is seen far away. He, 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 like, in the second episode, he goes underground and the dog appears with no explanation. He goes, Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Um, ma'am. Oh, are you doing your vlog? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, go for the door. Do I need to have the door open to uh, here when you're done? Then don't worry, I'll tell you. Okay. In the way, and I've been like a pretty popular thing going on, like, he might be fighting, I don't know, they got to be coming in, or he's just particularly far and just can follow him anywhere. I don't know. Uh, I think it's funny if they don't even, they don't explain it, I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, again, I'm coming, uh, one would stick one to each movie, don't share if you fit or come with your character who we don't see in the area. I think she appeared, but she got like one line, we don't like it. But I think she mentioned the list in the credit, which had, um, not a different, it, not, you know, how Denny show, like, yeah, especially can't try and go, you know, or something like that. You'll have the crack at the bottom and at the top, you'll have an extra gag. You know, if any comes like the people calling her to get gag, um, we can leave it without doing that and did more traditional credit, you know, with like different like art, you know, for Pen Gear all the characters in a movie theater watching with credit go by. Um, you know, the feature form is the animation, you know, um you know, no credit crunch. Did they no credit crunch did he did he in general like in Kong in a while? Even when there's nothing to show, like in Star Eka Kong, but kinda of like Kong, but like, you know, you can cover it up but they don't do that. Pickle Peanut had a had the thing at the bottom, but the it became Kong each time for that show. You know, and that's what they do here. Um, not not that they do a star thing and it got extension of a theme Kong. At one point going go Milo go Milo go. I didn't know that for now. I even gonna talk here. That's cool. <laughs> go Milo go Milo go go Milo go. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um. Yeah, I hear we're going to be calling in the show, like, I don't, the team's not going to be in every other code, it could be more like, it's Spongebob or something, where they're frequent, but they're not, 
I don't know, come on, I'm getting a big gamble, but one of those shows where Hong Kong, Kong are definitely no worry, but they'll be in every album because they just appear whenever. You know, first of Magic, Goon Patch, I'm kind of what that's like, but, you know, you know, we can, you know, go, go, no Kong yet, um, go, it'll we'll probably be occasionally, will be a Kong, maybe every once in a while, um, but anyway, the important thing, anyway, um, if, I'm going to be long because I'm going to talk about the progression of the show in general. Tell me everything going I do. I'm doing the off of the show in general, you know, because. Which means if it can pick you up to start ranking time, kind of the are going to be postponed and for full for, for notice because the game wrapping up anyway. So it's like, whatever. Um, I'll find that back somewhere else because we'll click the video. I'm going to talk everything about the show in general. That ain't going to be up going to do a next episode. I can just kind of like, you know. Go, um, go, what am I gonna think I talk about? Um, you know, before I can get into it, I should just talk about how in general. In general, pretty good. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed it as well. Going into it, I did have a worry because things for a bigger show that had a funny up, I knew what to do with it, especially for the first few King and Gum. You know, think too free especially do what to do with a formula, you know, how to change it up. And they have three plot. Go with one plot I'm doing for you, each one of the three plot will get you. Somewhere. If we're gonna go like kind of dry time, one plot will, or one moment, you know, would be for you. And they knew how to change it up, what to do, yada yada. But, you know, and uh, with this show, I like the skin up, but I will kind of worry that the only way you can have a skin up, uh, like, I don't, I don't think apparently with a regular show, you know, or like for me, like, it's not like a mundane thing, but it goes just creamy out of whack. A lot of shows are like that, but, you know, what I think of. And this show, the first. Both Epico and kind of a kind of come out trying to get somewhere. That I'm kind of trying to get the full kind of half. I'm trying to get that uh, to the museum. Um, you know, and of course, kind of the first half was like a general thing where they just go through a bunch of stuff and that's like one clear thing. It's kind of going to one clear contact of them going underground uh, to beating the, the, um, the underground during the town. You know, um, and, and well, off the area of Popeye will be about him trying to get somewhere, but. You know, because the jump around is a crazy thing to happen to him while he doesn't win a duck. I, I fear that could get repetitive, but the only thing that have happened to him, and you know, and like a few other recorded couple people like, uh, like, the friend and then nature, a couple people tend to care for him kind of character, like, um, Clyde Loud kind of like that, and I, 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 he's gotten better, last few episodes, they've kind of expanded upon him, and he's gotten like a big moment, so, what kind of character tend to be popular? Well, how's that tend to be black? I don't know why. Let's not read into that. Fish on being a kind of like that, you know. Some people really don't like him because he's kind of that weird one. Um, you know, and he'll probably grow, but uh, I do like his trick. And work works best, I think, when he specifically talking to my own crowd, reacting to him. And he even gets a nice moment in the second episode where he claustrophobic, uh, or I mean, Frank, I call him, no, he, he claustrophobic, but. He, Get through that in order to give him, you know, go. He doesn't have a moment, and he got obnoxious, like, and, um, Mika Kurdik, I believe his name, Mikai Kurdik, or whatever, I think he does a Mika job. Again, for free main one character, so we can hear our dem and the government wants to show a character we know and get, but, you know, apparently come for a, apparently got Dick Count Doctor Who in the show, and apparently a character from that, and, like, character named Time Ape, Thing. Um, you keep Bobby Carrick in the intro. You know, some shows do that. You don't want to every, because I think some show one problem pack can have the issue go many elements that you like, ah, you know, they're them just to introduce them. You don't need to do that. You can shoot what you need, and then that's okay to do other thing, you know. Some show, I've, it comes flip side, and you're not doing anything, you know. Like, when it comes to that kind of problem, but it gets to do, they should see the element like most important. But come we are an element that could have done in one twenty two minutes ago, that taking a few hours going down everything, like Big Fint being evil and a deal with four quarters and, you know, all that stuff. They could have done one twenty two minutes ago. Pen Girl, they got everything you need to know, and get that for twenty two minutes ago, you know. And then, and the other elements for sure aren't going to perform. But uh, I feel like we're going to hopefully, we'll, one, that comes out on for me, like, and there'll be, like, Tim and Craig kind of told me to be a part of it, like, the bigger story would be about, I don't know, any kind of, like, development the character, I don't know, and it'll probably after development will get through. I'd like for Nature to look gag already, but I do, again, think for that kind of like that, early on, it was very simplistic, but as it went on, they got more.
like we're evolving other characteristics. I mean, if you drink and like in Kimbo Capricorn, you can see or big action for beef for about the Gabella or Canada, or do which all the characters. All the characters are always in a court to them, and each rep code, you know, an app code like a clinic maximum, you know, it's definitely different in total combat with each character, more of an app code where you don't absolutely nothing, you know, you know, go and get these little details that will add to it, and, um, you know, go, that's a big worry that might get repetitive, but I feel like we're gonna nick it up, I think for, especially, I go, I'm gonna, I'm, you know, get that. And while I'm picking up, let's talk about we can do it. Still doing it. You done? Still doing it. Oh. I'm gonna let the cat out. Okay. Anyway, so, Rick and Crave Damn Coffee, and if you can't think further, most of work, but through that show, you know kind of humor you're getting into, and I really like the humor. Uh, Rick and Death, Boot Camp, very entertaining. They, they, this one starts off slow on me. Like, it starts off, I'm like, yeah, not that many jokes. Better pick up. But after the theme song, it does pick up. It gets really fat paint in a good way. Fat paint, you know, you know, you know, and it's like the humor is very, a lot of dialogue, very dialogue driven, but a lot of action. The film might like, have more action going on, so, you know, go, you know, and the animation really like it. The game style, but it's a little less pointy, you know, kind of like our cool to looking normal. Been on that show, it can't make a style, but in a lot, they just want to fluid because the character got to move a lot more, especially in the first episode. There's a lot of movement going on for a lot of it, yeah. And it's gonna in the cool cartoon that can be fat paint, but not usually fat paint, you know. And then, uh, you know, it's like, uh, a lot of quick dialogue, especially the action between the character like Milo. While I'm going to hear Milo kind of like just acting like everything all totally normal while going through the situation. And of course, very smart humor. My favorite thing I think for one well, of my favorite is the uh, if you end up dialogue, it's really smart dialogue with a lot of jokes that kind of require you to think a little more. You know, you know, and kind of mention you have to like, get me. I want to do a Keith painting. I don't get that joke, and I know that like, why it's funny. You know, and you talk like that, and they're took like that here a little bit because of smart dialogue. My favorite joke may be like. We're, and uh, they land in Kalkai Coyote County and got kicked warning. Oh, don't worry, it's not Kalkai Coyote and get named after they after Peter Pete Coyote or Peter Coyote or something like that. And that's again, I don't know no idea who had it and can you know, apparently that could be a burp and um you know, um go. But it's just funny that that kind of joke I'm talking about. And and the painting, especially in the second half, first half code and the second half code, very quite Quite that paint and just very lock of lock of just fun to watch, especially in that first game, that first one. Yeah, just a lot that you know, especially as all the stuff they bump into and it just it doesn't let up once it get started. And between the Edgar stuff and they draw for promote where that moment where I mentioned where Milo and Gak are talking in a small moment, but that you my idea of Milo could have viewpoint and you know you know. And um and I'm hoping Milo can get quite, um, Milo definitely oblivious, the nerdy guy, he oblivious in fact, he does not like him, <laughs> you know, and I, hopefully Milo can get quite, you know, he's pretty dangerous to be around, but it's like, he ultimately, you know, when he, he doesn't he get hurt too much here because he's prepared and, you know, whatever, you know, a lot of things are happening here, um, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, and hopefully he'll be like, well, Gung Gun might be. I don't know, come into I think some people may find him. I don't know, there's some nature to him that could make him annoying come up and go if they write him badly, but hopefully that won't happen. You know, we'll be again every. Ugh, the long one. The lot's okay. I should probably tell Red Nick up because of But the most important thing to show is that in off their comedy, and it's very much driven by the energy of what situation. So, I imagine weaker episode, like if any, it will be good for and kind of interesting. It's like that episode, you know, cook a pilot and it's more general, will get away with, you know, just being more general. And kind of one hack would be the concept of the underground people. You know, I take a bit to get underground people while like the journey there. A good joke there. I guess it's fun. It's fun to keep character against rat and keep stuff we can go through in the nature of things. You know, and I think for my magic, kind of weaker episode for the first you can you know, get team like or one quarter kind of you can like, entertain like you know we're like oh we're doing this okay 
you know, it's like, you know, but I don't know what they, technically one, the humor got better to a point where even if the plot conditioning, the humor is on point, you know, it's like, you know, he didn't give anything, but I'm going to show that it's very humor driven. If you got come up with code, I mean, if you got a story on kind of barely story, but they're just dang funny, come up with code, it's not, the story kind of, I don't know, weird, but it's hilarious, because it's like, that kind of, it's driven by the joke, you know. Yeah, and this show more think for these show more driven by energy. This show can be very energy driven because we get you to get caught up in, you know. Um, <laughs> um, and you know it's fun. You know, I feel like again, big worry of that maybe it'll get like repetitive. You know, like if not to level, it become a show like if you can, yeah, you know, occasionally, and hopefully, um, you know, um. Yeah, hopefully it could be able to, for most of you, it's going to be able to be a count, you could read, it'll probably, show up, we're going to probably be about other things, you know, you know, and not just, you know, but I'm asking for a replica where the plot is just getting for a build-up thing, you know, I mentioned creating a fact that the plot is the unique plot to that replica that no other can have, and a plot start doing that, and you get from other just way we are, because that's the background you should look YouTube and comment guys in this world, and the character, and yada, 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 go, I should probably wrap it up here. It's been half an hour already. I don't want to do it again, but so much I want to talk about in terms of like the Meyer thing. So I start doing regular vlogs when the hearing, you know, when that dumb epic of there. You know, um, you know, I can just jump into it and hear if you want to hear my opinion on X element. You can go here, and go. I'll probably want to kind of ramble about showing everything is in more in depth to pick up epic Go. If I get element going to attack me about, because I mentioned the character, the like, voice acting, the animation, the humor, and my worries, and whatever. And the character will, again, I feel people could be worried about the nature of the character, how many, they're kind of typical. You yeah, have the female friend who kind of like, you know, snarking, kind of like, you know, just nature to men, you have the male friend who, you know, kind of like, who I can just kind of, you know, odd, but, you know. You know. You know, and again, especially done well here, I think, because we're you know, charming. I'm almost done, you know, and that work here. But I can think some people, again, if you, it's a thing. If you know what kind of humor and style things are tend to go for and trying to have execute thing, you need to bet here. And if I got character type that I'm not too big a fan of, that don't write, you know, I'm kind of about you know, a character that could be enduring, or it could have been annoying, or like, well, but they get charm to them, something to them that gives them depth and charm, especially in the of um, you know, and one thing I like with taking is that she, she is kind of dumb, but they don't abuse that, she know Patrick, she wanna dumb, but she's not dumb dumb, you know, I feel like if a character would feature a lot more, they might have gone down that road, but thankfully that didn't happen. Go that back and be for another character who's more than just, you know. Uh, I think that one the thing, I think for that one thing, but just more in a way they mean. Character might mean one way, but they're actually another or more complex than the other. And this show that probably happened too. If a lot of game people, I don't, there might be different people writing specifically, writing like Bob or Aaron Guy, but they'll probably have new writing a lot, obviously, not just the old one. Um, you know. Go very good. My first impression based on the first uh but which I like more both vehicles, uh Kaka one is more consistent. But the first one is probably a little funnier. Um, you know, um but yeah, the kind of humor is so much like good. and and go my reckon and come oh and um No well, I'm confused. I thought, uh, okay, whatever, let me finish. What? Just go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm confused for a minute. Um, anyway, go, by, uh, for the first two episodes, I think, like, definitely more for a fan, I think, for that humor, because the way they carry on talk to each other, and, you know, it's just, you know, in a good way, it won't charm it from the energy and the way it can make a draft, and that is what will make the show entertaining, and that will make me two episodes, very entertaining, and I like them both out equally, and kind of more consistent, because that's where that going to explode and start, but intentionally go, because it's like, you have a different scene, again, being mad at the bus stop, and everyone is, you know, back away from the tongue, okay, about to stay away from, and it's building up to the punchline of crazy thing happening to them, you know, you know, um, go, 
Yeah, go. In short, the show definitely think like it'll be a lot of fun because it'll have a lot of energy to it. The character, you know, King Charm is their previous show, but I am worried it could, you know, the, the stick of her character might get old, or, you know, it could end up being too good. But I feel like they'll come up, or, or don't, they're not all gonna be like him going to complain. Maybe that's that go about that him doing a normal thing while being cranked and getting away or whatever. You know, it's like a game company that can trip for me to it can become a formula, you know, over time, you know. But, you know, um, you know, I've been on a show where it's not a formula, even though no formula, you know, so I don't have to have a strict formula if anything can want to be for me, like, um, you know, um, you know, but again, I've, again, that's probably not going to happen, you know, big happen over time, you know, but you know, I feel like freaking would have been, uh, if they wrote freaking current waking, freaking it would have been totally uncomfortable. Uh, well, Team 4, though, breathing, God, I just can In terms of how a show dropped her, most show, I think, freaking him, of, um, I don't know, like, the show probably, be, like, if it got full, be freaking it probably, and I feel like I'm a good number for the show. Um, I think I'm gonna get a lot pretty well, more, but I feel like that kind of show will probably. The reputation of it better is a little shorter. I kind of feel like, you know, a show like that, people would like, assume, kind of like that, because you get old and that's not what happened, but that kind of how it got to be that, you know, and hopefully this show. Again, the show might not have been good because people have a free plot going on that can make it unique, and there's a lot of element here. It got a few elements. Again, there probably could be other thing, you know, other telling the show, other characters have their own backstory and deal and whatever. So. But my first impression of so far that it's gonna be a fun show, cause I have a lot of fun. Once it, once it picked up, it was a blast because we're in good humor and it's fun. As far as cutting me out of 2015, though, I like Loud of Five, but then, you know, I, I don't think it's great. It's good, it's not amazing, though. Maybe because, you know, but the show has a kind of charm to it, that'll be fun to watch. But like, I'll show that kind of charm to it. Like, even when they have some girl, like, not good, you're like, I've got charm to it, I can't find a color show, you know, like, I keep me watching it, it's kind of being good. They kind of charm to it. No more replica, there's an element that's charming to it. Even if it got kind of compact, there might be a charm to it, you know, even if it worked out with code, it's like, it would work, which is why I don't like when people really bash on current replica, because the charm's there, you know, like, you know, even if it's not accurate or not, it's gonna be there. Come and show it like that. Put me put up like that, even if you have you know, um, go, you know, to, um, go, go, yeah, I'm sorry if it's a pretty long one, because I have a lot more to get out, but it's not got a ton to get, it's just that I have what's wrong with two minutes, minutes, and because it's tied to, so, kind of, I like, finic verb, and because of the nature of it, I just have a lot to get out of the nature, and all that, more than I had to do for all the other show, because we're a quick, not big deal, you know, it's like, and again, it, Again, my, feature my free up a go to get your stock about because it's that kind of show. Um, but anyway, go yeah, I'll be doing a video for the show, and they can, if you just want to hear my feeling on everything due to a general paint on me to up go, and you know, go, they can go about the show not being too up go, typically about like, the nature of them, then time typically, you know, um, you know, go if you go, you have to wait a while to hear me talk about show more generally, but all out. They're going, you know, very close to your account. You can talk more generally about skip the answer thing. God. I think we'll all get to be on the by in a while because we're just all right. A pondering I have about certain elements that might go good. Like, very worried, it'll probably be dashed after a few episodes because they'll expand on the character. We'll see we'll he more characters that have visual backstory, will have more elements, they'll have more unique plots that aren't just he's trying to get to a place and create something happen and just interchangeable with crazy thing, you know. But I, I imagine that will be for for quarter... Mm, I imagine for quarter of the code will be like that, but after that, they'll branch out. Because we need to get you to the world and that doing something familiar is the best way to do that. You know? You know, and it's like, well, I've got a lot of the code you think that, you know, she dug in the under... The, it has a certain get up, but, you know, and that's the best way to get familiar with the, what that show is ultimately trying to do and what accomplishing. But I could go along and expand the world and add more things, especially lately. You know, that, that one show I took off, which I feel like thing it does, but then it go 
brand of got done much of other thing, you know. Every show like that, but come show in Brooklyn or whatever. And that's a funny guy, Brooklyn, show like that. Demon Young, kind of like that. Restaurant, kind of like that. Regular show, especially like that. Because Doug Off of Kip Thing and Brandon Gawker with other characters and getting like, other things to them. That imagine they probably are more of writer to, to do that. Because all the other shows are like that. They're other elements, but not the main element. You know? And I'll put in 40 minutes. Wow. So, very Milo Machine Claw for you, based off of for 22 minutes ago. It is available on iTunes for free and other platforms. Check them already going to have to wait until next week appears on the app or for free. I'm going to put it on YouTube legally for free. We did that with Pickle and Peanut and some other show, I think. So, you can then go there. Um, you know, or wait till October 3rd. Um, which. Um. You can wait for roughly two weeks, or one week. Wow, closer to that thought. My God, we're going to go like quickly. Good, but, <laughs> you know. Overall, I feel like Kug, I'm a big fan of Phoenix Firm. I'm going to like them because of a lot of charm, and they will get a reputation. But Kug, it's not out for me, like Kug. Around no way from, like, some people might gravitate into it more, or maybe character art. I don't know. It's based on just two of them that Kug, and they're both, like, one big pie. I feel like one is meant to... Give a more idea, give a good thing, thing go from the general thing, you know, and even reference the pilot, like, give a great kind of event, you know. Go, they are you know, go, you know, this show is probably gonna be fun. Go, when the show officially be, I can net that point after this one, go now to her first, give me just BB. Um, oh, it's gotta be patient! Um, I'll do regular vlog on this, go on, pin girl, can get you know, um, Go. That'll be fun. I'm you know, no matter how short town, I'll probably do VR for the game one anyway. You know, I'll, for the time for the game, I'll VR again. We'll go from there. Who knows? We're going to all the known network we can get to how we ever can. They can't drink, you take like a year or half year to air off. Yep, go. No. that take a million years to air each other. Even for the first game. Go. Yeah, but oh well. I've been arguing a little long, because I've rambled a lot. I go on tangent. I'm one of those people. I'm sorry. If you got this far in the video, you probably know that. But, go. I was probably going to start rapping. Go. 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 Ready? Go. Tune in next, you know, Monday or Tuesday. Go for you know, on the app, or to refer to Disney XD, and or play like that. Or for free on iTunes right now, if you wish. Go. You know, go. Yeah, so I don't know what next new cartoon, especially on the free main network, you know, so, but, um, we'll see you for the, um, and according to this Saturday, we have every little thing she done for an LPV log, and tomorrow, the secret of her birthday classic vlog, which, by the time people see this, because it's now midnight, people will probably be up, so, I apologize, I, I want, I would start over, but, I think it's fun for, I'll get a lot of stuff on record, so, there you go, Mount of Finger Law. You know, hopefully, it will continue the track and be fun. You know, and get more complex. Because I already said, they need a bunch of characters in already deal that we haven't seen yet. So, there you go. I don't know a lot more I can probably get, but I'm just going to end it right here. Let's just hope the show continue the way it is and get even better. Get, I have fun with one that can get stuff here. Go. Yeah, go remember it. So there you go. If my own room were all living in it, be very afraid.